Good day, good day, all. This is Charles with the Exodus Logistics Learning Center, ELLC, America's number one dispatcher and freight broker training. Today we are continuing in our new how-to video series. Um, we're going to go into the supplemental portion of that because we've covered the self-paced modules, how-to video series, module one, getting carriers, using the different search criteria, module two, the different load boards and how to navigate those, module three, booking loads with the three different major equipment types, as an example, as case studies, and module four, invoicing carriers after they deliver and you are due for payment. Okay, so now we're getting into supplemental how-to videos, and <clears throat> we've covered forms and documents, um, the dispatcher agreement, the limited power attorney and the carrier profile. Next, we're going to cover the tools and resources, namely Safer, Trend Lines, National Truck and Trailer Service as resources, and then we're going to cover how to access Zoom for those who don't know. Okay, so today we're going to deal with the SAFER website. Okay, so to get to the SAFER website, um, that is a tool or a resource. So if you are an ongoing member, <clears throat> subscription-based ongoing member, you would go to our tools, dots, resources column and click on the tools and resources button. From here, you can either scroll down to the area of the SAFER um, or we have anchor buttons. Uh, if you click the button, it anchors to the site down. NTTS, Safer and Trend Lines. Um, let's click this one. It'll slide right down to keep you from having to scroll down. It's an anchor. And we want to click the Safer website. So what is Safer? So the FMCSA, Federal Motor Carrier, Safety Administration, that's what FMCSA stands for, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. They produce what's called a company snapshot, or it's a um, concise electronic record of a company's identification, size, commodity information, and safety record, including safety rate, rating, if any, uh, any out-of-service road inspection summaries, and crash information. So um, you search for the company's information through the company snapshot based off of that company's um, DOT number, MC number, or name. And this can be a, uh, a broker, a carrier. Uh, okay, you wanna look up a broker, you wanna look up a carrier. In most cases for the dispatching side, we are looking up um, owner operators, motor carriers who have an MC, or DLT number. MC stands for motor carrier. Uh, by the way, MX is a motor carrier who's based in Mexico. So that's why the X, MX. And then the US DLT number. So these are, these are identifying numbers saying that um, this person has the authority to operate their, their vehicle. This is an electronic record. Safety stands for safety and fitness electronic record. So they want to make sure that the the driver and the company is safe and that their equipment is fit for operation on the roads, safety and fitness. That's what SAFER stands for, okay? <clears throat> so any company that you're looking up, you will be able to find them and get some company snapshot information about them. If you want to know how to get to the SAFER outside of the portal, for those of you who have curious and, and can't seem to navigate it, from within the portal, you can just go to fmcsa.dot.gov, right? And you, in Google or in a search bar, put up a tab, and it takes you to the uh, FMCSA website. Okay. From here, you go to safety, right under safety, and then you can look up from safety tab. You will look up. Company, let's just click the safety tab so it takes it to another screen. So now on the safety tab, you will come down to the company 
safety record and you will do a snapshot or a profile, which is the safer system. Click that and it takes you to the exact screen that we are currently in through the portal. All right, just showing you the second way to navigate that, okay? <clears throat> so from here, you would enter an MC DOT number that you may have gotten. I'm gonna enter an example one so I can show you how to navigate the safer, okay? Once you are in here, the results set up your search, right? Either MC, DOT, or name. And you come up with this screen here, company snapshot screen. A lot of useful information, see? Okay. So um, let's start with this first block here. And before that, let's start with this block. Other information for this carrier. This shows their licensing and insurance information and their safety measurement system results, crashes, DOT inspections, and things like that. Um, and then licensing and inf uh, insurance, whether they are insured, whether they have an active authority or not, we can go there a little bit um, later. This first page, this first block, entity type. Uh, for you dispatchers, you want to be certain that the entity type of the person you're looking up just says carrier, okay? If it says carrier slash broker, <clears throat> or carrier slash IEP, um, stay away from that. Just do uh, carrier slash, I mean, I'm just sorry, just carrier. And you just want someone who proves just their own operation as a motor carrier. You don't, wanna, you don't want to deal with the carrier slash broker because you are getting into the realm of double brokering. If you are a dispatcher and you're calling, some, you're calling a carrier to dispatch for you're going to be calling brokers to dispatch those loads, to book those loads for. So if you're calling a carrier who's an asset under a brokerage and you're calling brokers to book loads, you're going to entertain uh, a concept called double broking. And, and that's all uh, sort of frowned upon in the industry. OK, so second line here, your operating status, you want to make sure that they're authorized for property. You may come across one as says not authorized and it'll be in big red bold letters. Because if you do that and you just stay away from them um, and it could be a reason, a good or a bad reason why they're not authorized yet. They could have had their authority revoked or they could have been, they could be waiting on insurance to clear with the FMCSA. So those are good and or bad reasons, okay? Some of the other information is just general information, their legal name, doing business as, physical address, phone, mailing address, their DOT numbers here, their MC numbers here, power units, how many units do they have? How many trucks do they have? Power units, tractors, right? And how many drivers, right? They may have a DUNS number or state ID number for the carrier. Um, and then their MCS, which is the DOT, MCS form for the DOT. And how many miles did they log and do um, the previous year, okay? <clears throat> Next you have the operation classification. Their own operators, they're authorized for hire. In other words, they get paid for what they're doing. They get paid for transporting um, the freight. Their carrier operation, are they interstate, intrastate only with hazmat endorsement or intrastate only with non-hazmat? HM stands for hazmat, hazardous materials, okay? And then the type of freight or cargo that they carry. In this example, this person just does general freight, whichever one of these options that has the X to the left of the name is the one that they put um, on the application when they had filed for an operating authority on the OP1 application. They only selected general freight. So chances are this person may just be a dry van, possibly, right? And you come down here with uh, different types of inspections. You have vehicle inspections, you have driver inspections, hazmat inspections, IEP inspections. IEP stands for Intermodal Equipment Provider. Okay. These are the national averages of the inspections. So this person had um, in the last 24 months, right? Um, zero vehicle inspections, zero out of service inspections. So his percentage is 0%. The national average is 21.26%. So he's below the national average, so he's fine, okay? This person had no driver inspections, no out of service for the drivers. So no out of service percentage is zero. The national average is 5.9. That's how you read that, okay? And so on and so forth. 
crashes reported by the FMCSA for the prior 24 months, zero fatal, zero crashes that resulted in injuries, and zero tows. So he's, this, this is so far so good for this driver, right, as far as those reports. So as a dispatcher, you just want to be able to um, understand and how to read the data, okay? So that's the navigating of this part of the SAFER website. <laughs> Licensing and insurance and SMS. I'm gonna, I'm gonna right click, open another tab for the SMS. <laughs> CSA is compliance, safety and accountability. That's what CSA stands for, or CSA scores, okay? And you can get all types of data here. You can read for this, unsafe driving. Some of it's non-public, you won't be able to access it. Others is public, like the hazmat is non-public, the crash indicator is non-public, but the hours of service, vehicle maintenance, the drug and alcohol consortium, or the, what they call controlled substances and alcohol, and then driver fitness. So you'll be able to access data about the driver and to determine yourself based off of the information. So you click unsafe driving, scroll down and get the unsafe driving reports. Everything's good. No unsafe driving violations. And if there were, if this had a number in it, you would click the plus sign to open up and see, but it does not, okay? And the same thing for the inspections and the investigation results. Hours of service compliance, <clears throat> okay? No hours of service violations, driver inspections violations, or hours of service Clients acute and critical violations. So this person's doing pretty good. Vehicle maintenance. So you just basically go through and check everyone to make sure that this person's good, right? Driver fitness. Okay. So that's the SMS, the safety measurement system. Next will be the licensing and insurance. So under licensing and insurance, you would just check this box, make sure you're not a robot, bicycles, and verify. So now you hit search. And up here you have a choose menu option. This is also, you can get some other information who their BOC company is, the BOC to be filing, carrier search, um, FMCSA register, insurance filing, things like that. So let's do, Check out carrier search for a minute. And let's go back to the one that we are doing now. Chimneys. So now we're looking up this specific company, right? So we got their information at the very end of this selection here, view details. It's a report either as a PDF or as an HTML. I want to view the report as an HTML to get data about them, okay? So here's where you can get more information on SAFER. You can see who their BOC3 company is uh, right here, their blanket company, which is called Trucker and Broker Services. BOC3 is a um, filing that you would have to do either as a broker or as a motor carrier to handle claims that's filed against your authority or your brokerage right, or your bond, right? And you have to designate a process agent to do that. So that's called a BOC3 form that's used to do that. This person here is, they have their authority type under the authority status, they have an active common carrier authority. Applications pending, there are none. Right. When did their authority become active? What date? If you check, if you click the link for the authority history, it'll tell you it was granted. Their motor property carrier, common carrier authority was granted on the 3rd of September of last year, 21. And if you want to get any other details, you just click the specific links. This takes you back to the previous screen. Active for pending insurance. Is their insurance information? They have $750,000 coverage of liability. BIPD and primary, which is the 91X form. The form 91X, um, BMC 91X is the liability form that the insurance company, the commercial insurance company filed with the FMCSA. BIPD stands for bodily injury, property damage. 
any rejected insurance, there's no data there. That means that there wasn't nothing rejected. Insurance history, no data, authority history, probably no pending applications and more than likely no revocation. So they are a good candidate, okay? So that's the navigation feature of the Safer website. This is where you come to kind of vet the carriers to kind of decide if you want to um, potentially call them to, to pitch your service as a dispatcher for them. I often suggest to uh, members, students, to start dispatching for carriers who may have five or less units. That way it makes your entry point dispatching a little easier. You know, five, five or less, maybe three or less to get your kind of get your feet wet to learn the process. And then you will be able to go from there. But this is the SAFER website. SAFER stands for Safety and Fitness Electronic Record. Safety and fitness are big things in the transportation industry, according to FMCSA and DOT. Right? Driver safety and equipment fitness are important. Okay, so remember that. Driver safety and equipment fitness, how fit and how well maintained are, is the equipment. So that's why you have the DOT inspections, the, the driver inspections, the, the, the equipment inspections to maintain the, the safety and security of what's being transported. That's very important. It's a big thing in this industry. So this is the navigation of the Safer website. This is the end all be all site to, um, to navigate, to get your data, to kind of vet out the carriers to decide if they are good carriers. Remember entity type carrier, operating status is authorized, right? They're authorized for hire, interstate, of the carrier operation, what they haul or the, or the cargo carry, general freight. There may be more depending on the type of carrier, the equipment type they have, they may have more access by these different options, okay? And then under licensing and insurance and SMS, you select those and go to those areas as well to get your data there, okay? All right, guys, hopefully that helped you guys with this um, safer um, video to help navigate and kind of vet out carriers, look up information about them, see when their um, authority history was active, right? Authority history, you click the authority history link to see when it was active. You can even go to look up different things as well. You can do carrier searches. You can look up the FMCSA register. We have a video about that though. Um, BLC3 information, what have you, right? And you do your searches there. All right, hopefully this video helped you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.